But honestly, it was the best fight. The champ is here! The champ is here! The champ is here! Hey, yo, the champ is here. Now, I know it's been quite a while that I haven't spoken about boxing. It's time to talk about boxing. Is KSI going to fight Jake Paul? Before we get to that, yeah, if you can remember, I think it was around January time, Gibb fought Jake Paul. YouTube boxing season already was in August when um, there was a big fight bet between uh, Logan Paul and KSI on that DAZN card, yeah? Now, the thing was, for me, when, it's, when they said this Gibb fight and Paul fight is gonna happen in January, I was kind of surprised. I'm thinking like, in November they just had an event. Why are they just doing it so quick? And then it dawned upon me that obviously DAZN wants Jake Paul versus KSI and Jake Paul was training when his brother was training for his fight in November so it made perfect sense to do the fight as soon as possible that's why you could see Gabe he was rushing he wasn't really ready he didn't really have much time see they wanted to stack the favor towards Paul I think if Paul fights KSI that's uh, Jake Paul I think KSI would whoop him. He'll have to get, um, I remember one of his, uh, his ex-trainer, KSI's trainer, Vidal Riley was saying he's not going to train anymore because he's taken him as far as he could. So he's has, he has to go get someone else. So I think if he gets a, a good trainer, he'll, he'll beat that guy easy. Okay, Deontay Wilder against Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury. What a beat down. Wilder got beat up so bad man. I remember Mike Tyson fought Holyfield the first fight and I thought to myself well you know Tyson just got bullied by Holyfield and I watched that fight again and you can see Tyson didn't really get bullied man he was fighting back he stumbled uh, Holyfield but at the end Holyfield dominated and then he got him. He put up a, he, Mike Tyson put up a fight Deontay Wilder got battered and I've never seen that now, was I shocked? No, I wasn't. A few people were asking me, oh, Ibi, who you got? Who do you think is going to win between Wilder and uh, Fiori? I said, Fiori, oh, you think he's going to win by points? Uh, uh, he ain't winning by points. He's going to beat him up, trust me. Ah, no, no, no way. So when I saw it, I wasn't shocked. I was happy, but I wasn't shocked. Another thing about, uh, about the fight was, you know, Deontay Wilder's suit. Now, let's, let's be real, yeah? Wilder, no matter what anybody says, he is one entertaining guy. From his ring walkout, from him knocking nearly everybody out that he's fought, and his crazy, you know, antics out of the ring, yeah? As far as, you know, building up the fight, etc., yeah? I mean, I've even seen, you know, Israel Adesanya. He used to walk out, UFC fight, yeah? He used to just walk out. This time, he's walking out, he's got dancers there, and he's doing the dance, and it, you know, let's be real, right? Wilder inspired him to do that and not that many people would give Wilder credit you know for the showmanship Tyson Fury started doing the walkouts you know with the American made stuff and stuff like that so there's obviously they've been influenced by Wilder and this time right he walked out and he had this really cool suit on and I remember hearing that he spent 40 grand on it I'm thinking man you know Wilder had you know this crazy suit and he spent 40 grand that went down the toilet yeah and then he pops out with it's because of the suit he lost the fight that statement made Wilder everybody knows Wilder because of that statement it's like the number one excuse why you messed up for a sports guy yeah for losing the 40 grand that he wasted everyone knows that that suit now so he didn't really waste it but honestly it was the best fight i've ever seen so that's what i want to talk about make sure you like this video subscribe and more importantly remember hustle hard keep it real g's up you suckers you know who you are down Boom.